Good morning, fishy folks. Stay tuned for awesomeness. Good morning, fishy folks. Happy Empty Tank Sunday. No. Uh, if you guys remember, this was the Mutt Guppy Tank. It's a 30-gallon tank. Actually, it's one of my first tanks I've ever owned. Um, but we had the Mutt Guppies down here, and we had that problem where... I was losing some and I had a pretty large loss after a couple days. I medicated, I changed, uh, I cleaned some things up, I medicated again and seemed to have uh, stopped the loss, losses. I did have one or two here or there, but I'm not really overly concerned about those. Um, and I decided just to break the tank down and clean it up and put something else in there because I didn't like it. So here's the plan. Took all the guppies out of here, put them in the German Red Tux guppy tank because that line was getting pretty cloudy, if you ask me. Uh, the last batch of Roger Local Fish Store, he actually made a comment that don't, they don't really look, all of them don't really look the same. And I decided he was right. So, and that tank had a little bit something going on in it, I think, also. So I put them all in that tank. I'm gonna medicate them again just to be safe. Uh, after I observe them for a couple of days, I'm not gonna medicate right away. Um, so what's gonna go in this tank? Well, I had these uh, platies. I don't know, are they orange wag platies? I don't know what they're called because they have that black in the tail. But I had these up in a uh, 10 gallon, lots of cover and they weren't drop and fry and the, the, the moms the females were ginormous I put them in this tank and you can see how many fry there are let's get close uh, there was at least three different drops and you could see little aren't though you can't because of the glare and the tanks dirty but trust me there's like a hundred fry in here and lots of snails because I feed the crap out of the tank so the fry grow and the moms drop more fry and don't eat their fry anyway I put them in this big tank and boom, population explosion. And that's my plan with the sunset platies over here. I mean, that mom is huge, ginormous. <coughs> huh. So I'm gonna move, I'm gonna move these guys into that 30 and hope the population explodes. Then in this tank, I think I'm going to put um, probably the peppermint platies and then the mollies are probably going to go down in one of those new tanks maybe I'll put the peppermint platies in one of those new tanks with the mollies in one of those new tanks and then I will put the red guppies up there and that leaves me I need one more tank so maybe I will put I don't know what I'm gonna put. Maybe I'll put these grow outs back with their parents and use that tank for the black, half blacks. I think that's what I'm gonna do. Another thing I wanna do this weekend is uh, drain this tank, put it up on cinder blocks, get that uh, overflow working because it's just capped off right now, and then use that as a, uh, you know, add it to the auto water change system because I think eventually either the mollies or the peppermint plot is gonna have to go down into a bigger tank. So that's what I'm thinking. So we got a lot of work to do this weekend. Uh, we gotta drill these two tanks. I'm gonna attempt to drill the third uh, 20 gallon tank. And then I wanna make the bulkheads. I wanna run the water lines. I wanna run the air lines. Uh, just put filters in them for now and then see what happens So I'm gonna get to work guys. I'll see. I'll be back. I'll see you later Well, good morning fishy folks. I have some stubborn fish We have this angel pear marble. They are for those of you that follow my channel. They are um, solo and skunks parents and Skunk is that one right there with the white dorsal fin. And Solo is that one on the right with the orange on his head in the middle. 
And if you remember way back when I had um, a five and a half gallon tank down here before these tens were here and I was trying to artificially rear a spawn from them and it appeared that everything fungused up and died and I got really frustrated and I drained the water to about here and I forgot about the tank for 10 days I would say well I go to start to clean up this rack and I look in that tank and there are seven things floating around swimming around and I'm like well F me and call me Charlie because there were fry in there and of those seven fry Solo was the only survivor that made it until now <coughs> um, the other guys were just from a different spawn uh, from the same parents but I thought it was cool um, actually I think skunk and the other spawn is from these idiots that also spawned part on the glass part on the slate but the reason why Solo's parents are stubborn you can see a slate there and I also put one over there and guess where they spawned that's right on the standpipe so this particular standpipe I can pull out from here of course the water is going to drain to there until I build a new one um, they actually spawned yesterday and I um, I decided to leave them in overnight and see what happens so right now she's just fanning them to clean them up um, I'm considering leaving them in all day but I don't know I do have a tank I can rear them in um, I was also kind of hoping to get a spawn out of these guys then it would be easy I would artificial rear these guys and hope these guys can uh, do their thing the problem is if they hatch out in this tank it's a 20 gallon high it'll be really hard to feed all those fry in a 20 gallon high for a high survival rate um, so now that I'm thinking out loud I'm gonna put them in that five and a half gallon tank with just a tiny bit of water in it I forget why I left water in it anyway uh, this weekend was not as productive as I wanted it to be. I had hopes and dreams. You can see the Mutt Guppy tank, the former Mutt Guppy tank, is empty still. I did drill two tanks. I didn't plumb them, though. Um, I didn't do anything with that 30-gallon down there, which I want to do. I want to raise up and plumb so I can have a uh, my automatic water change system in it. The plan is to put have those adult angels. I'm holding uh, four of these angels for a friend until his tank is up and running. Actually, I call them family. Um, and I haven't decided if I'm going to put angels in these tanks or those peppermint platies and marble uh, mollies. Love to call them koi mollies. We'll see. We'll see if I can get away with it. Um, because I'm thinking if I can have a rack of just angels, uh, they'd all be controlled by the same water source. And when I want to do different water change schedule for just the angels, you know, make it cold to induce spawning, I can do that. Of course, if I do that, then I have a ton of spawns. See, thinking out loud. What else is going on in the fish room? Uh, that's really it, I think. My Black Molly colony is really taken off. Um, quite a few spawns in there. Uh, looking forward to raising them up and selling them. These aren't a huge money maker, but considering I bought three or four for probably five bucks, probably sell each one of these for more than a dollar each. I don't like to talk about prices, but more than a dollar each, we'll say. Oh, I did. And maybe I'll show this in a later video. I did rescape the tank upstairs. My wife made a comment that she thought it was... She really didn't like it because it was ugly. And I don't think she meant to hurt my feelings, but... 
I knew it needed to, some work. It just had a bunch of all this growing in it for no reason. <coughs> so I took this, threw it down here, uh, added a nice piece of driftwood upstairs. and Now you can see the angel. You can see through the tank like I wanted you to be. You can, all the angels have room to swim, blah, blah, blah. So I did that too. Um, yeah, just fried growing out in this tank. Yeah, nothing else really going on down here. Hi right, guys, well, sorry for the boring update. Other than my angels being jerks. Look. Is she laying? I can't tell if she's laying or if she's just fanning. I don't see her tube. Do you? Yeah, I think she's just fanning them. Oh no, we'll have to see. Yeah, she's just fanning them. Silly me. Alright guys, that's it for now. Angel Central. Puppy Central? I don't know. These guys still haven't show me anything they're gonna probably be for sale I got a couple auctions coming up I think I'm gonna bring all my adult angels that aren't spawning or aren't in pairs to my local auction if you're interested in purchasing them hit me up at michaelsfishroom at gmail.com if you're local we can meet somewhere if you're not local uh, when it gets warmer I can ship that's the plan at least that's the plan. Yeah, these guys are worrying me. Not worrying me in that... Oh, not worrying me in that, uh, you know, they're going to die. Worrying me that they haven't spawned in quite a while. And uh, I think they're old. That's what I think. Um, they did seem to eat their bloodworms this morning, but that's about all they'll eat is bloodworms. Maybe I'll feed them blood worms for a couple days in a row, see if that gets them better. But they don't typically eat the brine shrimp, and they don't eat most flake or pellet food I put in there. Uh, so, all right, that's it for now. See ya. All right, fishy folks, a couple hours later, and I am draining the mutt guppy tank. I'm gonna drain it, rinse it, drain it again, uh, let it air dry and then uh, fill it up probably tomorrow. So we'll see that when I'm finished. All right, fishy folks, we're back. Methylene blue in the tank. Added maybe two gallons, gallon and a half of water. The eggs are on the inside of this pipe. There's actually, it's a huge spawn. It's one of the biggest ones these guys have laid for me. We got the air trying to go over them. I know that they are about 12, at least 12 hours old, so hopefully, what's today, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, we'll have wigglers, and by Friday, we'll have free swimmers. That's the goal, at least, so we'll see. Uh, I was talking to Tyler from FishyFreaksPlus.com. Go to their uh, go to their webpage, FishyFreaksPlus.com, and uh, load up your cart, add in MFR for Michael's Fish Room, for 10% off your total purchase. Anyway, I was talking to him, and he uses the rearing jars from Angels Plus. Highly suggested them. I know Paul from Paul's Planted also uses them. Maybe investing in one to check it out. Try it out, see how it goes. But we'll see. We will see. So that's it for now. My arm's getting tired, kids. We're going to leave you with these beauties. Have a great day. Happy Water Change Wednesday. fishy folks happy water change Wednesday today we'll be talking about I have no clue good morning fishy folks happy water change Wednesday stay tuned for some pretty cool stuff now why why